In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and install Eclipse for the Mac. So to do this, we'll need to go to www.eclipse.org slash downloads. And once we're on the downloads page, we'll be selecting the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, which has more features than the standard version. That will allow us to demonstrate more things in our course. So on our machine, we're using the 64-bit architecture. So we'll select the download for OS 10 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit architecture machine, go ahead and select the 32-bit version of Eclipse. Now once we select the download, it will give us a choice to find a mirror near us to download it, so go ahead and select the nearest mirror, which should be the first choice. And once we start the download, this will take some time. We'll go in our Downloads folder, and you can note that Eclipse does give you the option to donate should you choose to do so. Of course, the donation is entirely optional. Eclipse is free. So you can use it without donating, but if you'd like to donate, please feel free to do so. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Once the download has completed, go ahead and expand the download or get it extracted into your downloads folder. Now this will take some time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. You should do the same, and when your download extraction has completed, make sure you resume the video, and we'll pick it up from there. And here our extraction has completed, so we have a folder called Eclipse. So let's go ahead and move this Eclipse folder into our Applications area, where we'll be running the program. Go ahead and open the folder, and you'll find that inside of the folder, there is an icon for Eclipse. This will be the main icon to start the program, so we just double-click it to go ahead and launch the application. Now, the first time that we run the application, it will take some time to load up, so just be a little bit patient, and it will ask us, do you want to open this as it's from the Internet? Go ahead and select Open to allow the program to run. Again, it does take some time to open up the first time. Once it does start to run, it will ask us if we'd like to name a specific workspace location. And what we're going to do is choose a workspace that makes sense to us for where we want our projects to run. Now it will default, and we'll see that here in a moment when it opens. And just again, at any time if the video gets a little bit ahead of you, feel free to pause the video until your machine catches up. And so here's our workspace launcher dialog. We're going to go ahead and select the default workspace, which is going to be in our documents under our username, Documents Workspace. So that will be where all of our projects will ultimately go as we import them into our Eclipse environment. Now also note there's a checkbox. Use this as the default and do not ask again. If you don't want to see the Workspace Launcher every single time you launch Eclipse, you can go ahead and check that and select OK. If you don't check it, it's just going to pop up next time. So we're going to leave it unchecked. You'll see it next time then if you do the same. But again, if you just want to get rid of it and go ahead and use this as the default and don't ask again, just check that and select OK. And once we've done that, then the Eclipse environment will load up. Again, this takes just a moment. And you'll see that this will pop up. And once we get here, you'll note we're on the welcome page. And on the welcome page, there are four icons. One is for overview. One is for samples, one is for tutorials, and one is for what's new. Feel free to explore these, click on them, find out what you'd like to about the Eclipse environment, but ultimately we want to go to the workbench up here. So click on the workbench and this will open up the default workbench viewport that we'll be using for the majority of our course. So this completes our installation of the Eclipse IDE onto our Mac.